Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. They've been crying for three nights straight. They even ignored the hauntings. I can't go on like this. This has never happened to me before. How miserable do you have to be to just ignore me like this? I have to step in. (laughs) Their foot is hanging off the bed. This is perfect. (sighs) What? Are they really ignoring me? Why are they silent right now? Where are the screams? Um, uh, hey, I know you heard me. You stop sniffling. Uh, what the, uh, so this isn't going as planned. Uh, I'll go off script. Hey, I'm the one who's been pulling off your sheets, hiding your socks, and famously grabbing any arms and legs hanging off the bed. Ha, Okay. I'll assume you're shocked half to death and not ignoring me. I am Draven. Draven Bogeyman from the long line of Bogeyman. I've made my fair share of students move out by their first month. But somehow, you're making me feel like I'm the one that should move out. So you do speak. Personally, you're a little too calm for my taste, but alas. So, do you know I've been here? Yes, and you're fine with the supernatural? Are you serious? This is all you could afford, so you trying to ignore me. Really? <sighs> why did that, um, why did that feel like an insult? I, am I bringing down the property value? That was not for you to agree with. <sighs> anyway, you've been bawling. You didn't even notice that I snatched your box of tissues. I'm inclined to ask why. Not because I care about your little human feelings, but if you get over this, it would do wonders for my job. Midterms. I've heard the word before. Go on. You're stressed with all your exams, and you fear that you're not doing enough to pass. Oh, dear. Don't start crying again. Here, you can have your tissues back. Well, I don't know who this university is. <sighs> but I don't like them taking my job of scaring you off. What? A, a chuckle? At, at this time? But the university is not a who? doesn't matter what it is. I'm putting it out of business. I've heard you coming in late at night, passing out at ridiculous slumber as half your body hangs over the bed. Unmoved by fright menses, I might add. Then I hear you reading complex incantations and scripts. Textbooks. That's what I said. Don't interrupt my observational retellings. Thank you. Anyway. And there you go laughing again. Ugh. Pick an emotion. I'm not being funny. I'm being serious. Rawr. 
Why is this funny to you? Well, I've seen you burn the midnight oil. Isn't it hard work enough? This university is sounding ridiculous. Of course you can only try your best. Ugh, it's a must that you acknowledge your hard work. The time. Uh, you can only take things one day at a time. Look, oh God. Ah. Uh, I have observed you, human. I've seen you do a lot. You should be proud and give yourself some praise and high accommodation. I believe you will manage, and my judgment is never wrong, so you should believe me. Huh. I hear no sniffing. You needed that. Hmm. Becoming a support system and defeating the university was not on the to-do list. But I guess because I'm multifaceted and great and very great, I can take this on. No, I won't hold your hand. Let's not be ridiculous now. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, fine, fine, but, but, it's not because I'm helping you, I'm just helping myself, you getting over this will just make my job easier. They're already asleep. Ugh. SPO OK council skeletons would rattle if they heard about this charity work. I'll defeat this university and get them out of here before they find me out. <laughs>